All right, jumping on YouTube here on Saturday night, Sunday morning to talk about the impressive win by Vasily Lomachenko over in Australia. Lomachenko stopping George Cambosis in the 11th round of their 135-pound title fight and doing it with a series of body shots that had Cambosis on the canvas and had his corner throwing in the towel. If you're not a subscriber to this YouTube page, please hit that subscribe button. We do NBA and boxing content here all year long. So uh, this was a fight that Lomachenko was a heavy favorite coming in. But I'm sure there were some people that wondered if Cambosis could pull off another miracle. If he can do what he did back in November of 2021 when he upset Teofimo Lopez. He came out of nowhere to do that back then. Could he do it one more time? Yeah, the answer is, is no. Lomachenko was dominant from start to finish. The punch stats were outlandishly in favor of Lomachenko. At times, cartoonishly in favor of Lomachenko. It was like 21 to 1 at one point in one round. Uh, 18 to 3, I think, was another round. He was just landing at will. And his defense was so good that Cambosa was landing single-digit punches in most of these rounds. So it, it was, by the time you got to the midway point of the fight, the only question was, would Lomachenko stop Cambosa? And Cambosa, to his credit, is tough. He went 12 rounds with Teofimo. He went 24 rounds with Devin Haney, just fought Maxi Hughes. Um, he's fought on championship level for some time now. Um, but, you know, the, the cuts were starting to cause problems for Cambos. And then the 11th round, Lomachenko landed one body shot that had this delayed reaction for Cambos, has put him down on a knee, then landed another that had Cambos' father, Jim, climbing the stairs and throwing in the towel, as, as he should have, because it probably would have gotten even uglier for his son if that fight had continued. So let's talk about what's next for both these guys. For Lomachenko, he is now back on that path to becoming undisputed champion. He had a shot at it last year, lost to Devin Haney, disputed decision, of course, but lost that fight. And there was some thought about maybe he would retire. He was in his mid-30s. He had had a long career. Uh, would he have the stomach and the fire to rebuild and climb his way back going through multiple fighters to win the undisputed championship? Well, the answer we got to that question tonight was absolutely. Uh, this was a motivated, this was a energetic, this was a focused Lomachenko that we saw in the ring against George Campos, a guy that proved that even at 36 years old, he is still very much at the top of his game. So he is now reestablished as a pound-for-pound -pound type of guy. So where does he go next? Well, You've got a title fight coming up at 135 between Emmanuel Navarrete and Dennis Baranchik. That's a fight that I think Navarrete uh, should win. And if he does win, uh, it sets up a, a pretty good fight between Lomachenko and Navarrete. An all-offensive type of fight. A fight that top rank should be able to make pretty easily, quite frankly. So could that seems to be the most likely next fight for Lomachenko. A unification fight against the winner of Navarrete and Baranchik. And then you're talking about maybe a fight against Shakur Stevenson. I mean, Shakur is going to fight July 6th. That is the last fight of his top-ranked deal. But I think Shakur wants big fights. The reason he's going to hit free agency is that as of late, top rank has not been able to produce big fights for him to be in. Well, if Lomachenko is suddenly a unified champion come the fall, I would think Shakur Stevenson would want to fight Lomachenko for three belts. Knowing Shakur Stevenson, the kind of competitor that he is, I would think he'd want that fight. And that is a tremendous fight. Two of the most skilled fighters in all of boxing. Two decorated amateurs. Two guys with offensive and defensive skills. That is a chess match. And that's a fight that I think would do great business uh, in New York, in Vegas. Yeah, I just think that's a tremendous fight. So Lomachenko can now see his way to becoming at least the unified champion. Can he become undisputed? That's going to depend on Tank Davis. I mean, Tank Davis went on social media and surprised some people on Saturday night when he tweeted out a response to somebody who said, you're never going to fight Lomachenko. He said, look, I'll fight Frank Martin first, and then Loma's next. I love the attitude. I'd love to believe it's real. 
I can't remember the last time we saw PBC and top rank get together for a fight like that on that level. Mayweather Pacquiao, <laughs> I guess, is, is the last big time one uh, on that level. And I don't know. I, I'm just not going to hold my breath on that. I'm not going to count on that. I'd love to see it because, again, that's a great fight. Lomachenko is a come forward guy. Can Tank Davis, who is arguably the biggest counter puncher in terms of pound for pound power, in all of boxing, uh, I'd love to see that fight. Um, but I, I think we're talking 2025, and even then, I'm not so sure. Maybe the maybe Lomachenko, if he can beat Navarrete, if he can beat Shakur Stevenson, no easy task, by the way. But if he can do that, maybe he's a big enough star to you know force Tank's side to uh, to kind of come to the table and force Top Rank to come to the table and make a co-promotion. But we'll see. You know, history suggests those are. Uh, a lot more difficult to make than uh, than we'd like to see them than happen. Uh, just one word on George Cambosis, who look is going to get painted with that one hit wonder brush. And look, I, I think to a degree it's fair. I mean, he's got one win or one quality win, really, you know, one real win. That's over Teofimo Lopez. Since then, he's lost twice to Devin Haney. He had a disputed decision win over Maxi Hughes. That's a win that didn't really age all that well, given how Maxi Hughes fought against William Zapata. Now he just gets wiped out by Lomachenko. So the one-hit wonder label is, I think, a fair one to apply to George Cambos. But I think we got to give Cambos' credit for not ducking the smoke, right? Like he wins unified, undisputed, whatever championship you want to call he had when he beat Teofimo Lopez. Uh, he could have taken a victory lap. He could have gone to Australia and fought a nobody. And then taken on Devin Haney. He didn't have to fight Devin Haney for, you know, the undisputed championship at that time. Um, but he did. He did his credit for that. He got paid. And, you know, one thing about George Cambosis is that he and his management and his promoter have turned one win into, what are we at now? Four big paydays for him since then. So he's probably set for some years now because of what's happened with that one win. Uh, but he has not ducked anyone. He has been willing to fight everyone, and he's taken on the very best. He didn't have to fight Lomachenko even. I know he wanted a belt, but he didn't have to do it this way. Uh, so I, I want to give Cambosis credit for that. And I still think there's 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 a fight out there for Cambosis, or fights out there for Cambosis. The obvious one is a rematch with Teofimo. Like Teofimo now at 140. What's to stop Cambosis now from saying, look, I did everything I could at 135. I'm going to move up to 140 pounds, and let's do a rematch with Teofimo Lopez. That is still a marketable fight because of what happened in the first fight in 2021. So there could be another payday down the line for George Cambosis. Maybe moves up to 140, takes one fight, gets a win, and then we see him in with Teofimo. But I, I, I'd be shocked if, uh, if at the end of his career, by the end of his career, we don't see George and Teofimo going at it uh, one more time. So, you know, he... He does only have that one big win. This, the record is what the record is, but I do want to give George credit for taking on the very best and not ducking the very best. He wanted the smoke. He he made these fights happen, and uh, he deserves some credit uh, for that. So, great win by Lomachenko, and uh, he now moves on to see what other big fights are out there for the once great pound-for-pound -pound king who, who knows, maybe he can get back to that pound-for-pound -pound ranking.